multiply them. What scalar multiplication means is that the number that you multiply uh, from out front involves finding the product of every individual entry and that number out front. Okay? So if you have a, um, a multiplication out front, in this case of three, what you're going to do is you're going to go in, your uh, dimensions will be the exact same as what they started as, but each entry is just going to be whatever the scalar multiplication is, that many times the original entry. Okay? So if you're looking at 3e, that means we're going to go in and everywhere there's a digit in here, we're going to multiply by 3, and that will be your new value. So 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 7, 21, 3 times 5, 15, 3 times negative 1, negative 3, 3 times negative 10, negative 30, 3 times negative 6, negative 18, 3 times negative 2, negative 6, 3 times negative 5, negative 15, and finally 3 times negative 8, negative 24. Okay. So once again, it should be something that in a problem like this, it's probably easier just to mentally calculate it and write your answer. If you are going to do this on your calculator, so once again, the same process holds true. You could either specifically take three times and then type in your matrix. So uh, bracket, then one, seven, five, semicolon, jumps to the new row. Negative one, negative 10, negative six, semicolon to jump to the new row. Uh, negative two, negative five, negative eight close off my uh, my matrix and when I hit enter I get my confirmation that it once again what I did by hand was correct so you could type it in that way okay. you could also if I if I removed my three and went to the the back of this entry and I stored it as and I'll call it E since this is E so I designate this as E and then hit enter I can now take 3 times E, and because I've stored this matrix as my E value, when I hit enter, once again it confirms that I have the, all the correct values.